Dear friend, today, let us embark on a journey to explore the foundational principles of Christianity, seeking to unravel the profound simplicity that lies at its core. In this exploration, we'll delve into the transformative message of Jesus, His forgiveness, and the essence of being a Christian, reminding ourselves that imperfection is part of our design. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. At the heart of Christianity is the gospel, the good news that God's love is so vast and unconditional that He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to offer salvation to all who believe. Embracing Christianity is fundamentally about accepting this profound gift of love and the promise of eternal life through faith in Jesus. Ephesians 1.7 In Him, we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Central to Christianity is the forgiveness offered through Jesus' sacrifice. Our sins are washed away, and we are redeemed through His blood. It's a forgiveness that surpasses our understanding, rooted in the boundless grace of God. As Christians, we find solace and freedom in this profound act of forgiveness. Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Being a Christian does not demand perfection. Rather, it acknowledges our shared humanity. All of us, by nature, fall short and it is through Christ's forgiveness that we find redemption. The Christian journey is an acknowledgement of imperfection and a reliance on the perfect grace of our Savior. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your path straight. Christianity invites us to live by faith, trusting in God's plan even when it seems beyond our comprehension. We surrender our imperfect understanding knowing that God in His wisdom directs our paths. Faith becomes the guiding force in our Christian journey. Matthew 22, 37, 39. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Being a Christian extends beyond personal salvation. It's a call to love God wholeheartedly and express that love through compassion and service to others. The Christian walk is marked by a genuine love for God and a selfless love for our neighbors, reflecting the transformative power of Christ in our lives. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Christianity invites us to bask in the abundance of God's grace. Our weaknesses become a canvas for God's transformative power. In nurturing a relationship with God, we discover that His grace is not limited by our imperfections. Rather, it flourishes in the acknowledgement of our need for Him. Philippians 4, 6, 7 To do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Prayer is the lifeline of a Christian a simple yet powerful way to communicate with our loving Father. In prayer, we express our hopes, fears, and gratitude. It is a dialogue that brings forth the peace of God, assuring us of His constant presence and guidance in every aspect of our lives. Hebrews 10, 24, 25 And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Christianity is not a solitary journey, but a collective endeavor. Joining a community of believers provides strength, encouragement, and accountability. As Christians, we are called to support and uplift one another, fostering a sense of unity and purpose in our shared faith. Psalm 119.105 Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. The Bible serves as our guidebook in the Christian journey. Through its teachings, we find wisdom, guidance, and clarity. The Word of God illuminates our path, revealing the principles and promises that shape our understanding of God and His purpose for our lives. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Christian journey is not devoid of challenges, but it is marked by a deep-seated joy rooted in the hope and trust we place in God. As we navigate life's ups and downs, the joy of the Lord becomes our strength sustaining us through every season. Matthew 25, 40. The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Christianity calls us to embody Christ's love by reaching out to those in need 
As we extend compassion and care to others, we mirror the heart of Jesus. The ministry of compassion is a tangible expression of our faith, reflecting the transformative power of Christ's love in our lives. 1 Samuel 15, 22. But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fat of rams. Obedience is an essential aspect of the Christian walk. Surrendering to God's will, we acknowledge His authority and wisdom. Our obedience stems from a heart aligned with God's desires, recognizing that true worship goes beyond rituals, manifesting in a life yielded to His guidance. Colossians 3.13 Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Christianity is founded on the profound act of forgiveness through Jesus Christ. As recipients of God's grace, we are called to extend forgiveness to others. In doing so, we mirror the transformative power of God's forgiveness and contribute to reconciliation in our relationships. Hebrews 12.1 Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. The Christian journey is likened to a race, requiring endurance and perseverance. Casting aside hindrances and embracing faith, we navigate the course marked out for us. The cloud of witnesses, those who have gone before us in faith, inspires us to press on, knowing that our endurance leads to spiritual growth and maturity. 1 Thessalonians 5.16 AT Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Gratitude is a cornerstone of the Christian life. Cultivating a thankful heart involves rejoicing, persistent prayer, and gratitude in all circumstances. As we express gratitude, we align with God's will, recognizing His faithfulness and provision in every aspect of our lives. Dear Seeker of Faith, as you delve deeper into the multifaceted aspects of Christianity, embracing the ministry of compassion, walking in obedience, extending forgiveness, enduring with perseverance, and cultivating gratitude, may your journey be marked by spiritual richness and a profound connection with the living God. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit continue to guide and enrich your Christian walk. Amen. Dear friend, today, let us embark on a journey to explore the foundational principles of